for five cars in our garage, but this time around we have got a virtual warehouse. So that allows us to effectively give you limitless cars. Yeah. So you can bring them in and out of your garage and you know work with the cars that you want to work with. Cool. So you can do just as many as you want. Absolutely. Great. All right, so let's talk about some of these cars. So we've got the BMW M4. We had the M4 in the last game, but this time we've upgraded. We've gone for the GTS. So it's a bit more track orientated. It's a bit more bit more performance oriented. Okay, we got some muscle as well. We've got some muscle cars. So last time around we didn't really hit the money on uh, on the muscle cars. So yeah, we, we, we've done a bit more this time around. And, and yeah, the Nissan 350Z, right? So everybody's been asking for it. Um, we can't deny the fans what they want, so we've put it in Need for Speed. Awesome. And this one, yeah, it, look, it may look quirky, right? Yeah. Um, it seems a bit out of place in Need for Speed, but what we've done is we've built this feature called the derelict that again Marcus touched upon it in the in the live show but um, what the derelict is is a way for us to kind of let the player explore the open world that we've got um, it's a rich open open world that we have so we've put these cars out there in the world for you to find and explore and, and kind of take them back to your garage and find all the parts that you need to build them cool so effectively it takes a car from stock to scrap that scrap the stock to supercar cool so let's jump in the beetle and uh fix it up a bit. Yes, absolutely. So it's looking a bit run down right now, right? Yeah. So we, we want to restore it back to stock. Yeah. Now we should probably say as well, these derelicts, you don't need to restore them like this. You can you don't need to, upgrade no. them a little bit. I think absolutely. we'll show that in a little bit. Absolutely. And you could leave it like this if you wanted to. Yeah, right? for sure. Not my particular style, but you know what I mean. It might be somebody's style. Um, so yeah, you can see some more, some more of the parts. They're, yeah. they're looking pretty good. Absolutely. So we've tried to make sure that we've got parts in every interaction point that we, that we have for this car. Um, we want to make sure that we've got a, a rich experience wherever you go on the car. Um, we've designed a lot of parts for this car as well because, you know, out there in the reality, there's not that much that yeah. you can do to a Beetle, but this is Need for Speed, right? And we want to take it that extra step further. Of course, of course. So, we can play around with this car. Let's talk about some of the brands that are also a Need for Speed Payback. Yeah, so we've not um, ditched any of the brands that we had previously. So we've we've come back and we've got the, your Rocket Bunnies, we've got your Liberty Walks, we've got your Voltex parts, you've got APR parts, we've got all these rims that you can see so right now. So many right? rims. Um, so we're all, we, we love that stuff. We want to bring that back to the people. Of course. So, I think we've done a, a pretty good job of showing this off. Shall we show off the big, big thing? Yeah, so I talked about it previously. We want to take these cars to supercars, right? So here we are, we've, we've got our super builds. So these are effectively the biggest, the baddest, the, the most performance orientated cars that you can build in Need for Speed. Yeah, I've got my personal favorite down at the bottom. Off-road. Yeah, really? Off-road, yeah. Off-road. So off-road's back in, into Need for Speed. And that yeah, we is were, crazy. We wanted to build something special, right? Yeah. And what's more special than to show a, a jacked up Beetle? Awesome. So what, what, what do these do? Um, we should say that these are derelict Things, specific cars. So yeah, the, the derelict cars that you find in the world will be the only ones that we can take to the super build. We want to make sure that those cars are special and you, you want to put some time into them and, and put the effort into making them the super builds, right? Of course. Now, just while we have some extra time, let's talk about some of the stance tuning and stuff like that. Stance tuning is back again. Um, so what we've done this time around is tweak them slightly, right? We, we wanted to make sure that we could slam a car on the deck. Right? Of course. We love crazy camber, so why not go even further than we did before? Looks crazy. It's a bit of an odd combination that you've got there. It's a bit so car, a bit I'm rusty. Not Here we go. There we go. Yeah. So the Rapid Editor. The Rapid Editor's back. Um, we're not going to go into the detail of it right now because, you know, it would take you days maybe to yeah, create it. Yeah, of course. Around. So I think that's been a pretty good first look at Need for Speed Payback. Any last words from you guys? 